Hey, how you guys doing? Elric Ferris here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, I know this case has been out for a little while. I actually totally spaced in this damn thing. It was in my storage center and totally forgot about it. Apologies. Should have done this a long time ago. But anyways, this is the half MX mid tower case. This thing's selling on the market anywhere between $160 and $260, depending on where you buy it from. So what is this thing all about? Well, it's a mid tower fully black case that has lots and lots of options. You can use up to triple SLI or triple crossfire configurations inside of the case. So that said, let's start looking around the box and talking about a few of the features that are on this box. <laughs> So let's start off by talking about the specifications. We'll talk about the materials used and how it looks. It says for appearance, it has a mesh synthetic look and its case is made of steel. As far as the dimensions of this thing go, it's 252 by 530 by five by 579 millimeters, which equals 9.9 .9 by 20.9 .9 by 22.8 inches. Got all that? Good stuff. The weight says it's 10.3 kilograms or 22.7 pounds, so it's not that heavy whatsoever. As far as the motherboards, it takes micro ATX, ATX, and EATX, which means it takes the big, big ass motherboards like the Sniper Series from Gigabyte. Now, as far as its five and a quarter bays, this thing has three of them. As far as 3.5 inch bays, it says there are eight. Hidden six and it has X docking by two. X docking is supposed to be in the front of the case and allows you for swapping out your SATA drives. As far as the 2.5 inch drive bays, it says there are nine. Six converted from the 3.5 inch bays and two converted from the X docking, one behind the motherboard tray. What's really weird is this case says that you can actually use an SSD and store it behind the motherboard. I don't know how I like that idea, never be able to get to it, but hey, maybe it'll work. We'll check it out in the build. This is just the unboxing. As far as the IO panel, it says we have USB 3.0 by two, USB 2.0 by two, audio in and out, and it says it supports HD audio, and it obviously is an LED switch for the front fan. Expansion slots, eight by one. We talked about this before, this is on the rear IO. Now, as far as the cooling system goes, this case comes out of the box with a front 200 millimeter LED fan, comes with the top 200 millimeter fan with options for others, rear has a 140 millimeter fan, it can be converted to a 120 millimeter fan, the side has a 200 millimeter fan and has an HDD fan as well. Power supply types says, hey, use the standard ATX PS2. You guys can see the rest of the box right there. Let's move on and actually do the unboxing and take a look at this thing. So, all right, folks. So like usual, I'm gonna have to make a slice here with my knife. This case is actually exactly as it came shipped. So any of the damage in the box and everything, you can thank the folks over at UPS because that's where this came from. It came from the lovely folks over at UPS. Obviously, the other good folks at Cooler Master, but do them first. All right, so here we go. Ooh, we opening up. It has that nice new car smell or that new PC smell, as I like to call it. Go ahead and ace the knife down there. Turn this bad boy upside down and remove it out of the case. Here we go. Kaboom. Sound effects, all right. So I'm going to take the case box. Cameraman man can focus on the box real quick while I take it as a toss across the room. Maybe he can focus on it as I toss it across the room. So here it goes, the beginning toss. Across. No room. There we go. I love that stuff. All right. I'm taking the little panel off right here. I throw right at the cameraman. Right at him. Yeah. Take that, cameraman, cameraman dude. Dude. All right. Get this thing out of here. One step at a time. All right. We have the half. XM mid tower, little installation instruction guide here. It's important. Hopefully you can read. If not, have somebody read it for you. All right, once again, that's the cameraman. All right, it's a deadly job being a cameraman. You guys thought it was all safe. Nah, it's a dangerous job. All right, mm, this thing looks really nice. So we'll start off over here by looking at the front of the case. Two USB 3.0. Headphone, microphone, two USB 2.0. Here are the first five and a quarter bays. Now, these are the bays we talked about before. Nice little hot swappable bays here right in the front. Not bad, not bad at all. You guys can see the front there. It's got some nice little things in there. No colors wasted. Let's move this bad boy up to the top. 
Right here, we have our start, restart, power, all up here. Very clean. You can't even turn them on accidentally. I like that. Sometimes I accidentally hit cases and do it. Here's a little storage space here. Here's you're going to have two fans. Now also inside of this case, we'll get to that in a minute, but you can actually put a dual rad. So you can put a dual radio for water cooling, or you can put a single one in the rear. We'll get to that as we move along. Let's flip it around before we actually take it apart and take a look at the back. Now looking at the back of the case, we'll start off at the bottom where you can see the power supply is going to go right here at the bottom. I like when the power supply goes there. Then we have all the bays right here. This is where all your cards are going to be. This is the 8.1 expansion. Here's actually an extra little shield right here. There's a fan inside of here. You can see there's holes here for water cooling. I just knocked one out, but they're very easily put back in. But I'll have to get to that when I get inside the case. The camera can get in here. You can see these little screws, little thummy thumbs. I'm going to remove them all. It's so right here on Tech of Tomorrow. We get down and dirty with these cases. We're going to strip it down naked. This sounds kind of kinky, doesn't it? Naked. I even like naked juice. That's not even a prop. I really do. It's good stuff. Now I remove the screws. Let's start dissecting this thing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Here's the back panel one. Going to go ahead and remove that bad boy. Set it over here. Remove the other side. Now, also I just want to mention that you can get this case. They have it as an option of getting it with a window. I did not get the windowed one. I feel cheated. I will complain to my sales rep. No, I'm just kidding. Filter mesh screen, airflow, but still won't get too dirty. Ouch. There was a sharp spot on there. Hey. Hmm. Docky does not like sharp spots, but we'll get that out of the way. Also, there's an additional screw right here on top. I believe this is going to remove the entire top piece. So voila, the top comes off. Plenty of room for dual rad or for two fans. Right here on top, you can see there is a, I use the word big ass fan, a bath. That's right, it may not be the technical term, but it's a bath. Trust me, it's a big ass fan. So let's take a look at the bath. Here is the bath, the big ass fan. You can have two of those in here, or you can put a radiator in here. Me personally, I'll be going radiator. That's just my style. I like everything to be liquid cool. That's right. Here is the accessories kit right here. I will go ahead and take this out of here as well. These are going to be all the rest of the parts you need. Zip ties, screws, and such. All inside of here. All in a nice plastic baggie. Don't get any funny ideas. All right. So, go ahead and get this out of the way. So now let's take a look at the inside of the case. All your harness wiring is located right here. Your power supply will be located down here. You have plenty of room for support here. All the bays pop open very easily. All completely tool free. All your drive bays up here, simply lock, close up, open up. Lock makes it very easy. I'm going to try to get this over here so the camera can zoom in. I don't know if you can really see this. It's going to be hard to see in there. But you can see inside of the case right here are additional connectors. These are all for the powered SATA in the front of the case that we talked about earlier. So you have both your power and your lines all here. You can just wire them to your motherboard how you want it to be. Now, let's talk about cable management. Back here in the back, I can put my entire hand back here. We have slots right here. So we can run all the cables back through there. The fan wiring harness is here. This particular piece right here goes to actually the top piece or the front piece right there. You can use your choice wherever you want to use it. One of my little grommets is right here. So I'm spin it back around again. Now, they also said that inside of here, you can put an SSD behind the hard drive. So I imagine it's going to go right here. I'm personally not a big fan of that. I'm sure that some people may want to use it, but I'm just not a big fan of that. So that's pretty much it, folks. You guys have seen us receive it, take it out of its box, strip it down to its bare essentials. This is the new Half XM from the people over at Cooler Master. I'm Elric Ferris here on Tech of Tomorrow. Look for a full review over on www.techoftomorrow.com. See ya.